Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be making some tongs. Just going to continue rounding this over. Okay, we have these handles about drawn out. I'm just gonna compare these. And we're gonna finish rounding out the back section here and then we're going to planish it when it starts to cool a little bit to get all those heavier hammer marks out. These will still need straight, and I gotta finish getting these planished. But we're just gonna see, and we are pretty close to the same length. I do think I need to get just a little bit more taper on one of these. Actually, that looks pretty close. These are drawn out now. They are pretty dang identical in length. What we're gonna do now is heat these up. We don't even have to get these very hot. We're going to go through and we're gonna to try to planish it and try to get some of these marks out from the heavy hammer blows and then we're gonna move on to the end of the tongs and start getting the jaws worked on. Now that it's cooling pretty good, we're still just gonna do light taps that will help smooth out the surface. I wanted to mention which way to turn the end of the tongs. So if you are right-handed and you hold your tongs in your left hand, you're gonna go counterclockwise. And if you're left-handed like me and you hold the tongs in your right hand, you want to go clockwise. So let's go ahead and get these tongs bent. We're gonna go ahead and turn this 90 degrees. We have these twisted. We already forged down one. We're gonna go ahead and make this one match. We're gonna forge down the tongue and then we are going to do a chisel cut down and across to give better holding on our material. Let's go ahead and stick this in the forge. We're gonna go ahead and mark that right there. That way we know where to chisel. The 
there are a few ways you can mark center and layout. One is just to look at the center and mark it. The next is to actually measure out. I just took a guess of where center was the best I could, which it will be pretty close. And I've already drilled this one and I want these to match. So we're gonna set this one up here. And that looks pretty close. Go ahead and just give that a little hit. We'll go ahead and move this one. <clears throat> and just verify that looks to be pretty close to center. If it does, just give another couple hits. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and drill that out on the drill press. Go ahead and get our rivet pushed in. We got these riv riveted together. The handles actually close pretty nice. Uh, I think the main thing we need to adjust, at least at this moment, is the jaws because this is handles touching and we still got a big gap. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of material, which will be rough thickness of something we're going to be using in general, which will be something for me, something about like this. And we're going to go ahead and make the jaws down to roughly this material. Here we have our final tongs all done. Now these tongs I wanted for some more common stuff I use. So it will fit rebar, even with that big fat end fairly well. It'll also fit sideways. It'll fit this type of stock, straight up and down, sideways, or this way, and you get a good lock in. That's the point of doing the chiseling marks. Same thing, you can do flat sideways pretty well. It's not the best for sideways on flat, but straight up and down, you get a nice grip. And then you can still fit this in just like this. Just got to grip up just a little bit. Not as comfortable, but I wouldn't really be holding it like that. I would be holding it like this for making knives. So this works out really well for what I want to do.